Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant. Hello. And Carl Pilkington. Hi. And we've made a brand new series in which we send Carl uh, around the world to see the Seven Wonders. Enjoy it? No, I hated it. That was sort of the point. I was hoping for that. Um, <laughs> it's called Nidiot Abroad. I hate that as well. <laughs> he had no say in the title. He thought it was called Carl Pilkington's Seven Wonders. No. No, an idiot abroad. You must be happy you're on Sky One, though. <laughs> Stitched him right up. Right. The Seven Wonders of the World. Man's Greatest Achievements. Treasured by everyone. Or are they? If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Pilkington. It's like a pylon. <laughs> For people who don't know who Carl Pilkington is, how would you describe him? A little round headed, bald, mank, missing link, chimp like buffoon. Right. And you're a mate of it, aren't you? I, I'm a good friend. I... It's hilarious because it shows a man going through a bit of a crisis. I am knackered and I don't know how to get that across to them at home that I'm pissed off. Complaining all the time. I'm not going on a camel again. Come on. I'm not going on a camel again. Wait. I'm not going on a camel again. Bollocks are squashed. He's out of his comfort zone through the entire series. Shit. Shit! I watch it and I just cry with laughter. It is the funniest documentary I've ever seen. Let me go! Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Absolutely still acquired, folks. I'm fascinated by him, and, and he's fascinated me for s seven years. I've never got bored with him. I've never got bored with the way he looks, the way he thinks, what he says, the fact that I can introduce new experiences. It's so easy to introduce a new experience to him. He's showing you some yolk bushes, so he'll uh, He's showing a lot. Yeah. If you want to see more, you'll have to pay I don't want to see more. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of it, we came up with it. No, that's telling that's enough. And we sort of sprung it on Carl. I've got your own show. Your own television show. On Sky. Travelling all over the globe, experiencing some of the phenomenons. All paid for. This planet. It's all, paid all paid for. All paid for. What are these lot everywhere I go? These lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to. They've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself, and we wouldn't see it on the telly. <laughs> yeah. When we said to you, we're going to send you around the world to see the seven wonders of the world, what was your initial thought? I was worried. I don't really think you should go anywhere where you've got to have a job. Do you know what I mean? I think that's kind of like a warning. I'm trying to ruin the holiday already. I've not even packed my bag yet. Look at this. It's already been packed. Oh, you've got to have some injections. What? what, what? Yeah, you've got to have injections. I had an injection to, to sort of protect me from dirty chimps. <laughs> I didn't know that was, that was ever going to be a problem in my life. I'm quite on edge. I'm not into travelling. I didn't go away until I was about 23 or something. It's never been something that's important to me, travelling. I'm quite happy being where I live and just knowing where everything is and being happy with it, so I'm, I'm going to be out of my comfort zone. Are you travelled? Would you say you're a well-travelled person? Where have you been? Wales. Went to Wales a lot. Okay, Wales. Yeah, we used to just go to Wales. You know, it felt further away than it was because everyone spoke a different language. You land and did they, or did they speak English with a Welsh accent? They spoke English, but as soon as an English person walked in, it flicked to Welsh. That's how they do it there. That's the only reason to keep it. They don't need that language. They don't need it. I mean, they don't. I, don't, I think they even know that. I don't know who's keeping it going. Ooh. But you don't need it. It's only down the road. Why are they talking a different language? No, it's not a tribe. What's wrong with them? Learn, learn English. All pull together. Anyway, what was my point? 